Good morning. We're going to start here shortly. Hang in. I'll give it about one more minute, then we'll get started. Why don't we go ahead and get started? Um, good morning and welcome to the San Francisco Health Service System Voluntary Benefits Webinar. I'm Lisa Guerin with WorkTerra. WorkTerra, in partnership with the San Francisco Health Service System, offer voluntary benefits to all city and county employees. So voluntary benefits can be confusing and with the right information, it does not have to be. I'm excited to have with us this morning all the plan representatives that are experts in their field to share with us their knowledge and help employees understand their benefit choices. What to expect in today's webinar? Presentations from the plan representatives to include comprehensive benefit information. There will be question and answer period after each presentation and information on work terrorist enrollment services with the review of the login process. Our voluntary pre benefits presentation lineup for this morning, VOIA financial critical illness and accident will be first up, followed by Aetna Life Insurance voluntary life benefit. Kansas City Life Insurance, Abacus Series Short-Term Disability, followed by Legal Shield, ID Shield Benefit, Fifth Up LifeLock, Identity Theft Benefit, and Pets Best Pet Insurance for Dogs and Cats. So let's get started. First up is Denisha Silva with Voya Financial. Thank you so much, Lisa, and thank you guys all so much for joining. Uh, definitely excited for this uh, open enrollment period and to share a little bit about these two plans that are being offered uh, through VOIA Insurance. So uh, today what I'm going to discuss first is who we are, just a little bit about VOIA. I'm sure uh, you can see Val uh, right there with the uh, with his little acorns. Um, we've done a pretty 
a robust job of, of making sure that our name is out there. So you, you might have seen us on uh, some commercials with such a little squirrel and the chipmunk are everywhere. Um, and we are um, based in retirement. So I'm going to review a little bit about Boya. Then I will go over the, the uh, plans that are being offered. Um, and then I just want to review also uh, just the claims experience because obviously part of the um, importance of these programs is how easy it is to file a claim and track a claim, which we do a really great job of. And then where to go for any questions that you may have. Uh, we'll be here throughout the enrollment period and we do have um, individuals that are available to answer questions. Um, so if you have a specific uh, question that you'd like to ask, you can call in and get some assistance on that. So. Um, if you could just move forward on the next slide, Lisa. All right. As I mentioned, you may have seen us. We've been in quite a few um, ING and rebranded as Boya um, a few years ago. We have our, our main, um, mainly in the retirement space, uh, but we have obviously a huge uh, portion of voluntary benefits, and we're growing exponentially uh, in that space. So we have. We uh, work in the disability life, um, the voluntary plans, which I'm going to discuss uh, next. And we have a very reputable uh, reputation. So you can see here that we obviously have been recognized across the industry as being a very uh, sustainable company, an admired company, and a company that does um, the right thing. Uh, so you're, when you're working and uh, going through pur purchasing these products from Boy, you can know that you have a company that's uh, reputable. So I'll just jump into the plans um, and how they work. So Lisa, if you could go to the next slide, please. All right, so supplemental, supplemental medical plans, excuse me, um, are there to assist in the event that you ever have a situation that you might have out-of-pocket costs, that you might have an unexpected um, situation occur? It's for those times when you're involved, whether it's in an accident, um, you have a serious critical illness, cancer, uh, there's a lot of these situations that can occur and we don't necessarily have uh, a bucket of money plans in the event that this happens. So what these plans do is allow you to participate in them and in the event that one of these uh, things does occur, then you can use that money to pay for uh, out-of-pocket medical expenses. Um, you know, you can protect your HSA so you can use that for your other expenses. Uh, you never know if you have uh, children at home, you might need child care because you're not able to, to care for them. So, so there's a lot of different things that uh, these supplemental medical plans can help to pay for in the event that one of these uh, events does occur. I do want to um, state here that these are not considered health insurance plans by themselves. So um, the intent of this is to have to be a supplement to your medical plan, not to be in place of. Next slide. The two plans that we're being offered or that we're offering today are critical illness and accidents. And I'm going to go into detail of each of those plans next. Um, critical illness for all intents and purposes is a lump sum benefit. You can choose a particular amount that you want. Um, and in the event that you're diagnosed with one of these major medical conditions, um, we'll pay that lump sum directly to you. Uh, the accident plan is more of um, there's a schedule of benefits, so it functions as though uh, if you were to have an accident, there's multiple payouts that could occur, and I'll go into more detail uh, on the accident plan as well. Next slide. Uh, next slide. So this is going to be the critical illness. And what the critical illness here is, is you can see in the event that you have a heart attack, coma, stroke, uh, major organ failure, paralysis, kidney failure, coronary bypass, cancer, all of these are uh, critical illnesses that will be covered and or not recovered, that will, will uh, facilitate, based on your election, a payout to you. So you can see here that the options of the payouts are, or excuse me, the options of the increments are 10000 10, to $30,000 and, and $10,000 increments. So essentially you have the option of buying 10000 20000 or 30000 for yourself. You can also purchase this coverage for your spouse as well as your children. One of the things, and there's an error on this slide, so one of the things I want to point out is that this is a bit, you get a bit, you get a benefit with this particular coverage every year. So one of the parts of the plans that we want to, to, um, to share, to, to, to encourage is the, to make sure you're getting your annual exam. So you can see here there's a wellness benefit. It's actually $100. And that's not only for yourself, but for your uh, spouse and then children can get um, $50 for getting a wellness exam up to $200 a year. And so you have all these different tests here, but in addition, we count things like dental checkups, vision checkups. We really 
if you're getting any sort of wellness check, you can go in and uh, submit a claim online and we'll direct deposit $100 in your account um, every year that you have this plan. And when you see the cost of it, it really makes sense because it's, it, it, it offsets a lot of what the cost is for the plan. So it almost pays, it pays for, for part, of the, part of the plan just as long as you're getting these annual um, wellness uh, checkups. And it's not, a, it's not a really cumbersome process, again, to, to file a claim. You just basically go in there, put in your name, uh, your doctor that you saw, the, te the uh, test you had done, and the date. You don't even have to upload any sort of explanation of benefits, and then we'll um, send you a check. So very um, important thing to have uh, just a living benefit so every year you get this. But in addition, when you really truly do have one of these illnesses, I had uh, my mom actually had cancer, um, breast cancer at 64. She wasn't able to work, and she um, was struggling, like, just, you know, getting to and from her chemo treatments, and my dad was still working. So, you know, you, so there's a lot of costs out, out there that you don't even associate with having to, to provide for one of these or having to, to pay for in the event that one of these things does occur. So you just want to think about how that might affect um, your family because it is a, it is a really nice uh, benefit to have in the event that one of these does occur. Can you go to the next slide, Lisa? Lisa, can you go to the next slide? I'm working on it. It's technical difficulty okay. here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I don't know. It's the cute. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. So that, that the, another question is, is how much does it cost? So I put here just a couple different benefit options um, and what the, the monthly cost would be. So you can see for an age um, 35 year old person for a $10,000 of, of benefit, it would be $7.40. And if you wanted to get the 20000 it would be $12.20 uh, per month. And again, remember, you still get that $100 um, a month benefit, or excuse me, $100 a year wellness benefit. So you're, you can see how much of the premium that actually costs if you, if you do get that. Um, so this just gives an example of somebody here that uh, Julie, she, you know, she's pretty good health. She sits at her desk, you know, 40 hours a week. She eats well. She sleeps. She walks regularly, but she had a heart attack at age 42, and she wasn't expecting it as a most 42-year-olds are not, or most people are not, but she had quite a few medical expenses. So she had 5000 of out-of-pocket medical costs. She had to pay her mortgage, and this is for two months. Um, she needed food and utilities. She had to make her car payment, car insurance. And you can see her total uh, output for that was $10,750, and she had a benefit of $15,000. So you can see here how that, how that money can really go a long way um, in the event that one of these does occur. Um, is there any questions right now on the critical illness plan? Um, and if you want to use your chat window, you can, you can jump in there, and I can address that. If not, again, I'm going to share with you all the uh, contact line for our customer contact center. So, um, Lisa, could you go to the next slide, please? Oh, I think I see a hand here. I don't know how to check that. Samara, uh, is it Sam Samara, did you have a question? Uh, thank you. Everybody's raising their hand right now. Um, we are taking okay. advantage of the Q&A function here at the bottom of your screen. So if you do have any questions, feel free to type them in there and we can address them as they come in. Okay, great. Thank you. Thanks. All right. So um, I'll address those after the, the accident or after when I get that. Let's see here. Actually, I just got one. Okay. Uh, the monthly cost, is, the question is, is the monthly cost pre-tax and it is actually post-tax. Um, and the reason that you want it post-tax is because if it is a pre-tax benefit, when you receive the, the or, or, excuse me, if it's pre-tax premium, when you receive the benefit, it would be taxed. So if you get a big lump sum of, you know, $20,000, you don't want to be taxed on that large lump sum. It's better to be taxed on the premium on the front end or, or to, pay the, to, pay, to not have to pay on the front end. Um, is there a medical exam that's required from... That is a really great question, and I can't believe I didn't answer that. All of these products are guarantee issues, so there's no medical questions uh, answered. Um, you can just go in and, and um, select coverage if you like. Um, 
I, I believe we can be sending the slide deck. Um, the question is, will we be sending that, Lisa? I know we're recording the session, um, but I believe, Lisa, you can send out the slide deck maybe as well. Absolutely. All right. Let's see here. And um, the other question is, for Julie's case, does she get 15000 each year if she purchases? And the answer is no. It's just a one, um, it's a lump sum payment, one time lump sum payment. But it is if you were to have a situation where you have cancer um, and then later down the road had a critical illness, then no, there would be a multiple payout for that. So you would get 15000 for the cancer and then you say you had a heart attack, 15000 for that. Um, there is a question, there's a question on pre-existing conditions. Um, so if a person's had cancer in the past, um, the, you can still enroll in coverage as long as it's been more than 12 um, months. If you were to have cancer, um, again, that would be covered. And there was another question about a diagnosis of cancer. And again, that um, as long, and I, I'll, I'll send out, Lisa, there's, we, we have some detailed language around that. So I'll send out uh, that to you so you can share that with the group as well, just around the okay. cancer and, the, and being previously diagnosed and pre because it's more okay, involved, great. I don't want to get too in the weeds in that, yeah. Um, okay, is it good, yeah, there's a question for, is this a good sign for young employees um, and not good for older ones? Um, so with these plans, it's actually great because you can take them with you, even if you retire or leave the company. So I think this plan is is really good for kind of anybody um, because, you never, again, you never know what, what could happen. So um, you could always take the plans with you when you, when you leave. Um, Will the monthly rate would go up after filing a claim? And the answer is no, the rate will stay the same. Um, and then the, there's a question on how this differs from short-term disability. Um, it's, it's very, it's completely different from short-term disability. Um, and I believe uh, we're gonna go into short-term disability after this, but this short-term disability protects your income. So if you were to be unable to work, it's gonna pay you a percentage of your income um, for as long as the benefit duration is. Um, this plan is just a lump sum payment for limited um, limited events, so, you know, critical illness, cancer, heart attack, that type of thing. And then with the accident, it's for a covered accident. Um, and there is a question about cochlear implants, and that, no, that, that would not be, you couldn't use it to replace that. Um, you can, the question is, is, are these benefits just for active employees? Um, and the answer is yes, it's for active employees currently, but if you plan to retire, you can take the benefit with you. So as long as you are active at work when you enroll, you can. And there, that, that, there's another question about taking the plans. All these, the, both of these plans you can take with you um, if you leave. And then there's a question about what's the difference between this plan and the regular health plan? Your regular health plan is going to cover, I mean, you want to have a medical plan. This is simply to cover those events where you, have gonna, where you might potentially have a large um, cost associated with them or be unable to work or be, you know, have a, a bunch of additional expenses. So with the critical illness, it's going to basically, again, pay that lump sum payment to help you with all the costs that you do have. Um, and then on access, the same thing. You know, if you're to be involved in a serious car accident um, or like my, my situation, I was uh, an athlete when I was younger, so I tore my ACL, I broke my arm, I had multiple issues in my ankle, so if my parents would have had this one, it would have been amazing, but I'll go into that a little bit different, a little bit more after this one. So I think I've answered most of the questions. I will be following up with, um, with again, with that specifics on the, the reoccurrence in cancer. Um, but again, if you guys have additional uh, questions, then um, I'll give you the phone number. So I'm gonna move on to ACTIC because I think some of the questions are, are gonna be on accent and then I will I'll circle back to, to these questions after I complete this. So on the accident coverage, as I was mentioning earlier, basically what it is is in the event that you or, who, or, or part, anyone in your family that's covered is involved in an accident, VOIA will pay you based on the schedule of benefits all of, for all of these things you see here. So um, like I'll take my example. I was playing basketball in college and I ended up tearing my ACL, my MCL, my meniscus. So I ended up having to have surgery. I ended up having to have um, 
crutches. I had to get physical therapy. I had to go see a doctor. Um, I did go to the emergency room. So all of these different things you can see on here, there's a dollar amount associated with it. And so when you submit your claim and it has the explanation benefits, we're going to pay you on each of these things that you that you uh, would ha were to have happened. And then the benefit is inexhaustible. So if you have multiple um, accidents, we're going to pay for every single accident. The, the rate's not going to go up. Um, we're not going to charge you more for if you have a claim. It's basically if you have this plan and you're involved in an accident or you have this plan in your family and, and you have co covered your family and they are, have an accident, it will be paid based on the schedule of benefits. I'm also going to give you guys a link after this, um, which Lisa will also send out, which has our, it's a microsite that basically you can go on. It has the benefit summaries on it, so you can see um, more specifically all the different payouts as well as some videos and some, some examples on there. So um, that'll be, you'll be able to go in here. With this plan, as I mentioned, you can cover yourself as an employee, you can cover yourself and spouse, yourself and children, or your entire family. Uh, next slide, Lisa. All right, so going over the cost again on this, you can see here what the monthly cost is, the so $731 for an employee, um, employee spouse, $1226. The really affordable benefit, again, this is gonna be paying in addition. Um, th this will not be a medical coverage only. This will, I, you wanna have health insurance, this just pays beyond that. Um, so even if you don't, I get the question oftentimes is people say, well, what if my medical plan covered, you know, everything and I only have to pay $500, but on the accident, it shows that I would get $3,500. We're still going to pay you that. We don't care what you pay to your medical plan. We don't care, you know, what your cost is. We just want, we're going to pay you based on what our schedule of benefits is. So to give you an example of that, here's, Lisa, she was in a car accident and broke her leg while she was out of town. She wasn't sure she was going to be able to recover, and so she wanted to use these accident uh, benefits to, to pay while she was away from work. So her cost it was $1,700 for the surgery. Um, the transportation was $85. Lodging was $130. Medical equipment was $150. And then physical therapy was $250. With the benefit that Lisa has, the accident benefit, she would have received 1,200 for the surgery, the 1920 for the leg fracture, 360 for the transportation, 120 for lodging, 120 for medical equipment, and 180 for her six sessions of physical therapy. So you can see here that even though her costs were this, uh, were the 2350, 15, her, the actual benefit that we'll be paying Lisa is 3,900. Okay. Um, so I'm going to jump back to some Q&A uh, questions, and there was a question um, about athletic injuries, and yes, those are included um, in accidents. As long as it's a, an accident, um, there's only a couple exclusions. I think if you're in the war after war, um, if you are, those are on the, the benefit summaries as well, which you'll see on the site. Um, if you are participating in sport for money, um, so if you're a professional athlete, then it wouldn't be covered. Um, but if it's like a, a standard, you know, your children, you know, play in school or if you play on a team, I play basketball and softball here um, in San Francisco. So if I were to get hurt, that would be covered. Um, another question is, what happens if I've contributed for a while and never use a plan? Is there a cash out option? And the answer to that is no. Um, it works, it functions similar to uh, car insurance and in that you, you continue to pay it. And if you have the benefit, you can use it. Um, the only, I, I would say, annual benefit is as long as you were to choose to participate in the critical illness, you do get an annual payout of $100 um, for an individual, $100 for individual, and then $100 for spouse if you have that coverage. And then if you were to cover your entire family on that, you can get essentially uh, 50 per child. So depending on how many children you have, you can get up to 200. So if you had four children, you could get 200 plus the 100 for the spouse, plus the 100 for the employee. Um, the next question is, is when, when can it be active? Um, and the effective date is, is July 1st. So the enrollment period is gonna be coming up here on the 13th. So if you enroll during that time, the coverage will be effective 7-1. Um, and then the out-of-pocket costs, uh, yes, there's, there's out-of-pocket costs, which are the, the premiums, the monthly premiums that we showed here. Um, Yeah. 
can the plans be covered for maternity leave? Uh, no, this plan would not cover um, anything under maternity leave because it wouldn't be considered an accident um, and it would not be a critical illness. That would be more of a short-term disability plan that you would want to look into that. Um, let's see. Our benefit, is the benefit paid to lease on top of the benefit paid to the medical plan? And the answer is yes. Um, and in other words, if the payment by the regular medical plan will be subtracted by the payment by you, we don't care what you pay to your medical carrier. The only thing that we care about from your medical carrier is the explanation of benefits so we know how to pay you. So when you go on to the, the microsite, which I again encourage all of you to do and click on summary, you'll be able to see the exact payout for everything that we pay um, on that. Um, can you cover adult? children and grandchildren. You can't cover grandchildren. Um, you can cover children up to age 26. All right, so I think I have answered all of the questions. Lisa, can you um, go? Oh wait, is there a number, is there a limit to a number of accidents thinking with kids in place where absolutely not. You can, if you have 50 accidents a year, you can file 50 claims. All right, so I'm going to go through this very briefly because I think our, our time, I don't want to take too much time on this, but I just want to give you guys an idea, at least so we can flip through this pretty quickly. For our claim center, everything that we have is online. So when you go into the claim center, you can initiate a claim. You can go on to, to the site 24 hours a day. We have our 800 number there that you can call for any questions. You can also call that number if you have questions about the enrollment. So feel free to do that. Um, we actually have a tracker on the claim now that will show you. It's like if you guys think of um, the Domino's Pizza Tracker, it actually show you when you've initiated a claim. If you have anything outstanding, it will. You can log in with your claim number, and it'll tell you um, what you need, and you can actually fill it out online right there and upload it. Um, and then it'll show you when the claim is uh, the, the claim has been paid. Um, this is just what you need in order to file a claim. Again, it's very simple. You can kind of see the in that that let's begin filing your claim. That's where I was showing the tracker there. So you just need the employer name, the group number, you know, your date of birth, and if you want the information to be direct deposited, we need that. Again, we have this microsite that you guys will have access to uh, year round. So you can go through there and it'll walk you through that whole process and even show you videos on what to expect. So this is just a confirmation email. We don't need to spend too much time on this, but just wanted to share that with you. Uh, next. Next slide, Lisa. Yeah. All right, uh, let's see, one more. One more. Okay, and so here's the site, again, I want you guys to go check out. It's, it's a really great site, tons of information, videos, everything's on there. If you guys have any questions, feel free to call our customer service team. Um, we do have uh, individuals who are able to, to respond to any questions. If you have a particular question that you don't wanna that you want to you know, be confidential about, you can speak to one of our customer uh, care agents there. Um, so again, I'm excited to have you guys have this opportunity and please feel free to reach out if you have any more questions. Um, this, uh, so I just had one more question. Uh, let's see, a couple more questions here. The maximum age the plan can accept, um, and I believe it is at, up to age 70. Um, but let me just oh, one second here. I just want to make sure that I have this. So actually, as an active employee, you can enroll at any time. The spouse is up to age 70. Um, and then the max, uh, there's someone that asked about the max benefit amount per claim. And I, I don't, there's not necessarily a max benefit. Uh, on the critical illness, you will only elect or you will only receive the, the benefit that you elect. So if you elect 10,000, 20,000, or 30,000, you would receive that amount. And then on accident, uh, again, there's no max. There's, um, you, you can just, as long as it's a covered incident or a covered um, um, event, then we'll pay that. So if it's, you know, if it's $10,000, we'll pay $10,000. And then you have an accident later, you know, we'll pay that. So there's not a max. Um, and if you plan to retire soon, again, um, you can you can purchase the policy at the 7-1 effective as long as you're still active by 7-1. Um, 
Um, and then you can port the policy. So all both of these plans you can actually take with you um, and just pay direct after you leave. Um, and then as a question to you, can you email the Q and A from webinar? Um, I am can I am I are we able to get a copy of the the questions that were asked during the webinar? No, so we won't have the questions, but we will actually be able to share out the webinar itself, so you'll be able to recap what was okay. said and asked on the webinar. Okay. Account. Okay. Yeah. So we, I can, I can provide some Q and A um, based on some of the questions that we had here. Um, yeah. Perfect. All right, guys. Well, uh, thank you so much for your time. Looking forward to uh, to this open enrollment and um, appreciate your guys' um, participation. Thanks, Lisa, and everyone. Okay, thanks. So our next presenter is Karen Hill with Aetna Life. Hi, good morning, everyone. Um, thanks so much for the opportunity to share with you a little bit about the um, benefits that you have available for life and AD&D &D coverage. So during this uh, modified open enrollment period of 513 to 531, anyone that was a late entrant, in other words, you previously had the opportunity to elect voluntary life insurance coverage and you didn't take advantage of that opportunity, we're now opening it up for employees only to be able to take advantage of guarantee issue um, that they didn't um, apply for previously. So with this plan, um, the benefits for you as an employee is increments of 10 to a maximum of 500,000. You can elect coverage for your spouse in increments of 5,000 to a maximum of 250,000. And um, the child benefit is 10,000. So when we're talking about guarantee issue amounts, for you as an employee, you have up to $100,000 of guarantee issue. And so what that means is that it doesn't matter if you have any existing medical conditions, we're not gonna take any of that into consideration. You can apply for up to $100,000 and be approved automatically. So during this modified open enrollment, the spouse coverage that you may um, decide to elect will requ uh, require evidence of insurability. That means some medical questions need to be answered. Um, so the Guarantee issue is for the employee only. And then for child coverage, you can always elect that. There's uh, no requirement for evidence of insurability on that. And um, with the life insurance, you can also elect uh, accidental death and dismemberment coverage. And it's for the, it will be for the same amount that you elect under the life insurance plan. And that's about it. So do we have questions around this voluntary life offering? So I see one question. I previously enrolled in 100,000 amount. Can I increase it? Um, no. Once you've hit the guarantee issue of uh, 100,000, you I I shouldn't say that you can't increase it. You can increase it, but you don't get additional guarantee issue now. So once you've utilized the $100,000 guarantee issue, you can always apply for more, but medical evidence will be required. Um, how much is the cost per 100,000? So I know that um, on your enrollment site, uh, Lisa and her team have provided benefit summaries and information about costs. Um, so we don't have any of that detailed here, but you can get to that on the site. Are adult children and grandchildren covered? So it's the same as with the VOIA coverage. Um, children up to age 26 are covered and not grandchildren, just children. Uh, what if teacher is in sabbatical, are they covered? So you have to be actively at work in order to be eligible for enrolling in benefits. Let's see, what about those that have pre-existing conditions? So for the guarantee issue amount um, for employees during this period of time, you can get up to the $100,000 of coverage and it doesn't matter if you have a pre-existing coverage, I mean condition. You're eligible for the, that guarantee issue coverage. So now's the time to, to get it. Um, coverage is only good for employees once you retire, coverage ends. I know that's a good question and thank you for bringing that up. The coverage is uh, portable, so you can take it with you. 
and the rates will not be the same that you enjoy being covered under the um, city's plans, but they'll still be portable term rates, so they should be competitive, and um, you just simply fill out the portability form within the 31-day period required, and um, you can take whatever coverage you have with you, and there's not going to be any medical questions or anything like that at that point. Um, let's see, it, uh, is this additional to the current coverage we have through CCSF? So it's the same voluntary life plan that you've, that you've had in place for the last several years, um, but we're opening it up to allow people that didn't take advantage of enrolling in guarantee issue coverage before to now have that opportunity again. So it's the same plan. Um, what kinds of deaths are not covered under this life insurance? Nothing. It's a, it's a, it's a, it covers every death. There are some deaths that could be an accidental death, and if you purchase the AD&D coverage, it would be a double indemnity. So let's just say you had $100,000 of coverage and, and um, your spouse um, uh, died in uh, an accident. You would get payment under the life benefit and you would get payment under the AD&D benefit. So it'd be a $200,000 benefit because of a, an accident, but every type of death is covered. Um, let's see, so can we simply go to the employee portal to sign up? And I'm going to say yes. Um, I'm assuming, Lisa, correct me if I'm wrong, everything should be available for them to, to sign up. Absolutely, all the benefits are available. You can enroll in up to the guarantee issue amount or up to the maximum. So, and the rates will be in there. Once you log in, you'll be able to um, Toggle. So you can toggle all the different benefit amounts and kind of figure out, you know, what premium might work best for you and benefit coverage. Good. Thank you, Lisa. <clears throat> the next question is, am I, I'm currently enrolled. Where do I access a hard uh, copy policy? So uh, booklets are posted and I'm not sure if, Lisa, do you have them on a, a, a site that you're managing or are they on a site that HSS manages? I know all booklets are, are posted. So for the rate, um, we have a forms library in the WorkTerra system. Uh, they can go to the sfhss.org and, and there's tons of information there on the benefits and um, there'll be additional emails and stuff going out as well. Perfect. And so um, there is there is a booklet and a benefit summary that are for um, it's for group policies. There's there's not um, we do not issue individual policies. So I would look where all of your other booklets are posted. You know, if you have disability, uh, medical, and those kinds of things, and there should be a life insurance booklet posted out there as well. <clears throat> And the next question, is this term life or whole life coverage? This is term coverage. Um, so um, for whole life coverage, you would be paying lots more in premiums because it builds cash value. So this is pure term coverage. Um, let's see, the next question. I thought CCSF provided AD&D. Is this in addition to that coverage also is Aetna the insurer for the prior? So there's a basic life plan that is provided for employees of CCSF. Um, but so I don't know all of the other different coverages you have, but for, for from our perspective, from an perspective, perspective, there's basic coverage that's provided by the city. This is in addition to, this is something that you can purchase on your own. Let's see, next question, interested in enrolling, was unaware of, the, of this webinar until the very last minute. Can information be sent to me um, or rep? So, Lisa, can you respond to that, please? So, can information be sent? Um, so, they can call in our, into our call center, which I'll give that phone number and stuff, um, or email us, and we can definitely send them information to them directly. Okay, thank did you. I answer, did I answer the question? Uh, 
I think so. So okay. the next question is, um, sorry, what does ADA insurance mean? So it's ADND, &D, so it's accidental death and dismemberment. So um, for, for that coverage, there would be benefits payable if there was a death or if there was an accident or if there were a dismemberment. So um, that's what that stands for. Are there any restrictions if spouse is in law enforcement? No, none whatsoever. Um, so I'm not able to sign up my spouse for guarantee until October. So guarantee issue typically is only offered one time, and that's when you first become eligible for the plan. So for your spouse coverage, if you were previously eligible to enroll in spouse coverage and did not take advantage of the guarantee issue that was on the table at that time, there's no further opportunity to take advantage of the guarantee issue cover coverage. But that doesn't mean that you can't apply for coverage, you just have to submit medical evidence. Does that answer the question? I'm hoping so. Um, if I currently have up to 50K coverage, can we use this time period to increase to um, 100,000? So if you have 50,000 of guarantee issue coverage right now, this, uh, this opportunity allows you to go up to the maximum guarantee issue of 100,000. So at this point, you would be able to get an additional 50,000 of guarantee issue. Um, uh, the next question is, you can always come to SFHSS offices to pick up brochures and flyers. Okay, somebody's providing that information. Good to, good to know. And we have a question, uh, what is the coverage, the covered term, 10 year, 20 year, or 30 year? So this um, is a continuous term. So the coverage is not for a specified amount of time. So as long as you're paying premiums, the coverage will stay in, in, in force. Let's see, if a beneficiary needed to file a claim on an employee, what information would they need to provide and what is the best number to call? So uh, there is a number, a customer service number posted on the website uh, for, for filing claims. And the claims are actually filed by HSS and Lisa uh, or WorkTerra if that, if that <clears throat> is how the, the information is, is submitted. And, um, Basically, everything is, is managed by them. They'll help gather the death certificate and the other information that they should have a beneficiary designation on file. So all of that information is submitted um, for you. Unless they can't get the death certificate, um, then our life claims team may be working with the survivors to obtain additional information, that kind of thing. Okay, um, are premiums pre-tax? I don't know the answer to that question. Lisa, are you able to, to respond to that question? So the answer is no, they're not pre-tax, they're post-tax, so that their beneficiary will receive the proceeds tax-free. Okay, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> If I signed up last, uh, at last year's enrollment, I don't have to resign at this time. That's correct. If you previously elected coverage, as long as you've continued to pay premiums, you don't have to reelect each year. You have the coverage. Let's see, where do I sign up to increase the coverage? Again, you would go to the enrollment website um, where you elect all of your benefits and you can increase the, the coverage out there. Let's see, somebody's saying we will be sending out a link of the recording of this webinar out that people can circulate and share with coworkers. That's just um, somebody letting us know um, that this is definitely going to be available for others to listen to. Let's see, we have a question. Hi, Lisa. Uh, can, oh, can Lisa send the links for enrollment and the details of the policy plan link? So, um, is that something that you can provide, Lisa? I don't know how this would be sent out to everybody that was able to attend. Um, you know, I know I can do it individually. I can work to get that done, um, to put something out there maybe where um, employees can just, you know, I can send the link out and they can um, log in for that information. 
Yeah, maybe it can be posted where they can access right. this recording. Right, right. I yeah, can work on that idea. so we have it and then they yeah. can get it that way. Okay, perfect. Can I continue the policy after retirement? Um, that's a really good question. I'm going to have to take that one away and um, I'll get the answer over to Lisa and she'll be able to share that um, response. I want to say yes, but I, I don't. I don't want to give you wrong information, so I'd I'd like to research that before responding. So Denise, um, you had indicated that your question keeps getting skipped. Can you please repeat that for us? I'm sorry, I overlooked that. Yeah, and I apologize. So Denise was asking. Um, so I'm trying to sign up for a spouse for. Uh, so I'm not able to sign up for a spouse for guarantee until October. Is that correct? So I tried to address that question. So the guarantee issue for your spouse is only available if you enroll in the spouse coverage within 31 days of becoming eligible. So there's no spouse guarantee issue on the, on the table right now for late entrance. So um, in October is the normal annual enrollment. If last year during the normal annual enrollment, you elected not to apply for spouse care guarantee issue coverage, say you had you were eligible for guarantee issue of coverage at that time, this annual enrollment, the guarantee issue for spouse goes away. But it doesn't mean you can't elect coverage, it just means that you have to submit the evidence of insurability. Does that answer your question, Denise? Got it, okay, good. Good, good. All right, it looks like the questions have slowed down. Thank you very much for all of your participation. I appreciate it. So I'm going to pass this on to the next presenter. Okay, thanks, Karen. Here I go with my technical difficulty. All right, next up is Hal Denton with Kansas City Life. Lisa, thank you for putting together this informative webinar for the city and county employees. Welcome everyone. I'm Hal Den, and I'll be going over our short-term disability benefits with you. Next slide. Kansas City Life is a leader in the disability insurance marketplace and has worked with the city and county since 2016. Disability is the leading cause of personal bankruptcies and foreclosures, yet only 40% of workers protect themselves. Next slide. Personally, I carry disability insurance for the same reason I insure my car and my house. Why? If I were to total my car without car insurance, I'd still be able to buy another car. Yeah, I'd have two car payments, but I'd be able to make it. However, if I were to lose my income without disability insurance, I'd lose my car, my house, and much more. Your ability to earn a paycheck is your biggest asset. Why do people not cover themselves with disability insurance? Next slide, please. First, because most people don't understand the policies and what the insurance covers. Second, they think that if they're disabled, workers' compensation or the state disability program will cover them. But workers' comp only kicks in if your disability is work-related. And the state disability program only pays you part of your income, and the state plan is taxable. You are far more likely to become disabled off the job than you are on. And disabilities can occur from a number of diseases, life events, and accidents. Too often, workers are woefully unprepared for the financial consequences. Disability insurance is, is meant to protect you from the financial burden of losing your income if you become disabled and are unable to work. Workers, workers' compensation covers you while you're on the job. Our plan covers you off the job. So how do you protect yourself? Next slide. Savings. Most financial planners recommend you have six months of savings, yet when someone becomes disabled, their monthly expenditures actually go up. Healthcare deductibles, traveling back and forth with doctor's care, help around the house. Are you willing to risk all your savings for a short-term disability? And what if you have several disabilities through your working years? Next is it's hard to borrow money when you're unable to work. Asking family is even harder. So for a small weekly payment, we'll provide you with the coverage you need. Next slide. We've designed two benefit plans that fit with the other benefits already in force. The difference is the elimination period and the benefit period between these two plans. 
An elimination period is the number of days after doctor's diagnosis of a disability that you must wait until payments begin. And the second part is the number of weeks that we'll pay per disability. So for the Municipal Executive Association, your elimination period is zero days for an accident, benefits begin on the first day. And for an illness, it's a 14-day elimination period, so benefits begin on the 15th day. Benefits would pay for up to 13 weeks per disability. The other group of people, everyone else, will have a seven-day elimination period where benefits begin on the eighth day for an accident or a sickness, and it pays for up to 26 weeks per disability. Several employees will have multiple disabilities through their working years. Our plan will be there to protect you. Next slide, please. You get to decide how much coverage you need. It is offered in $25 increments up to $700 a week on a guaranteed issue basis. Since this is paid on top of your state disability payments, we limit the max benefit to 30% of your current earnings and will pay up to 100% of your pre-disability earnings when the two plans are combined. So for example, I'm gonna to have to make this easy on myself because I'm not great with math, but let's assume an employee makes $1,000 a week. We'd offer them up to 30% or $300 per week. If they're to become disabled, and let's assume the state pays $600 a week. Remember, that $600 is taxable. We would pay our $300 on top, which is non-taxable, and they would receive both benefits as it's still less than your $1,000 pre-disability earnings. Our benefits are non-taxable. There's no taxes withheld, and there's no taxes due at the end of the year. However, you will get a W-2 for the payments, but they're identified as non-taxable sick pay. Remember, these payments are paid directly to you. Our plans are guaranteed issue. This means there's no health questions and no one can be turned down due to health reasons for up to $700 a week. There is a pre-existing condition limitation of 1212. What does 1212 mean? This simply means that for the first 12 months after the certificate is in force, a disability that is from a pre-existing condition may be declined. The second 12 tells us how far we're looking back for that pre-existing condition. A pre-existing condition is one that you receive medical treatment, consultation, care or services, or took prescription drugs for. That's looked back at the 12 months preceding your effective date. So for example, I take a statin for cholesterol. If I were to have a heart attack during the first 12 months of coverage, they would consider it a pre-existing condition. If the disability was not related to cholesterol, then it would still be covered. And once I've had the certificate enforced for 12 continuous months, the limitation no longer applies. So we do have a pre-existing condition benefit though. If we decline a claim due to a pre-existing condition, we still pay 25% of the benefit amount for up to four weeks. Our policies are, policies are issue age rated. This means that if you enrolled at age 39, we always consider you 39. You will not have to cross age bands to the higher premiums as you age. In addition, future purchases will be priced at your original issue age. As I mentioned earlier, this coverage is off the job only. And yes, we do cover pregnancy the same as any other illness. Pregnancy is still the number one cause of disability for working adults. Next slide, please. Claims. Whoop, I'm sorry, that was the previous slide. We make it easy for you to file a claim. We have a dedicated team of ability analysts ready to help you. You simply call our toll-free number and one of our analysts is there to assist you. They're the ones who'll be processing your claim and walking you through the process. They in turn will reach out to your employer and your doctors for any information that we need in order to process your claim. Keeping you informed of the status of your claim each step of the way. Next slide. So how much does it cost? You'll find the rate sheet with your offering on the WorkTerra site. Simply find your age bracket on the left-hand side, slide across the amount of coverage you wish to have. Remember, up to $700 a week, there are no health questions. If you wish to purchase above $700 a week, you'll need to download the enrollment form and answer a few simple questions. As you go through your benefit options, consider how would you cover yourself in the event of a disability. And if you already have coverage, now's the time to make changes. If you're increasing coverage, only the amount of the increase is subject to a new pre ex limitation. Next slide. Uh, so here's my contact information. Lisa, thank you for giving me the time to go over this short-term disability for the city and county employees. We have a few minutes. Let's go through the questions and answers. Next slide. Okay. Oh, Becky, I'm sorry. I just now saw your, your message. Uh, were you able to hear me? 
Um, so I've got here a question. Do you use my take home pay to calculate the amount I purchase? No, we're looking at your gross earnings of pay at 40 hours a week if you're hourly. If you're salaried, we look at it at the gross amount before any taxes are taken out or any other deductions. Um, it says here that I think that SDI is non-taxable. I, I actually, I don't administer SDI and I live in another state, so I thought it was. So how, in the state of California, SDI is non-taxable, just so you okay. know. It, it's, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, uh, can you sign up for temporary disability if you're currently pregnant? Uh, that's a good question. Yes, you can sign up. The pregnancy will be considered a pre-existing condition, so you'd receive 25% of the benefit for up to four weeks. Of course, once the policy's been enforced for 12 months, it wouldn't matter anymore, but you should, should have had the child by then. Um, and then, of course, you're covered for all other disabilities. Uh, can I cover my spouse? No, unfortunately, this is only for the employee. If my disability begins in June, can I still use the coverage in July once it's active? Once the policy is in force, yes, you can use it. We will be looking to see if it is a pre-existing condition, and of course, the pre-existing condition clause would apply. But you must be an active employee on the first date of coverage. Looks like we got them all, Lisa. Yeah, that's great. Thanks, Hal. Thank you. Oh. Hey guys, bear with me. I'm having some issues here. All right, next right. up, our next presenter is really Linda quick, Mazzoli. Lisa. Yeah. Lisa, let me interrupt you really quick, Hal. Okay. If you're still there, we had one question. Um, we had a couple of questions come in late here. <clears throat> okay. So, Hal. Uh, I'm sorry, I had to unmute it. I, yeah, no worries. I'm still getting paid while I'm out. Claim sick hours, can I still submit a claim and get paid? Um, yes, so we pay in addition to all other benefits during the first 10 days of your benefit without coordinating. Once you cross those 10 days, we start looking to see if uh, you're going to exceed 100% of your pre-disability earnings. So use all, you know, use the sick pay during the elimination period um, and then 10 days and after 10 days we, uh, we would coordinate only if total disability exceeds 100% and we never require you to use your sick pay. Uh, can you recap about pre-existing condition terms? So to us, a pre-existing condition is one that you have sought treatment, care, recommended treatment, or received uh, medical care of any kind, including prescriptions. And then we would only look at that during the first 12 months that the policy or the certificate is in. Once you've had it for 12 months, we don't, we don't worry about that anymore. Uh, and then the next one goes on to bite. Thank you. Okay, so we're moving on. So our next presenter is Linda Mazzoli with Legal Shield. Good afternoon. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for the attendees that are still hanging in with us. I'm going to go over your legal and identity theft coverage that is available to you. Uh, this coverage would begin if you're not currently enrolled and enrolled during this period uh, July 1st. Lisa, thanks for going to the next slide. So this is not an insurance product. It's actually a service. So it's one that you can definitely utilize. And most of the time when people think of the word legal, they immediately think of expense. And we're totally the opposite. We are the alternative to $200, $300, $400, $500 an hour, or frankly, not using attorneys and just maybe going to Google. And unfortunately, Google doesn't have a law degree. So here, you know, you have access to our nationwide top-rated law firms, our nationwide network, um, for all of these services listed. All these benefits listed are inclusive in your discounted employee rate. So you have anything from unlimited advice and guidance on anything from real estate questions, tax questions, family law, landlord-tenant, even if you owned um, a business or your spouse might have um, a business on the side. They might be in the gig economy driving for Uber or Lyft. So what's great is you have access to the attorneys on an unlimited basis. So you have to ask yourself, man, I've really never used attorneys before, but would I use them if they were free? And I'm sure the answer would be yes. You definitely want to make sure you have sound advice and guidance to make really good decisions. 
you also have 24-hour access to the law firm. What's wonderful is this plan is family friendly. Imagine your spouse or your teenager or a college age student in another state having an issue off of business hours. What's great is they're able to tap the app. There you see on the screen a picture of our mobile app. That red line there, I call it the bat line. Any emergency that might happen off of business hours, just hit that and you're in contact with your law firm to protect your rights. So again, it's nationwide coverage, even 24 seven access. Um, the law firm can even write letters on your behalf. So imagine having a dispute or an issue where you felt like you were the little guy. Uh, maybe it was like for me, it was with a cell phone company. I was able to have the law firm write a letter on my behalf because I knew I was right and they weren't, yet I was being ignored. Well, they never ignore a letter from a law firm, especially the number 11th largest law firm in our state, Parker Stanbury. And that letter got to the top of the inbox not in customer service, but over in their legal department. Um, I had a call quickly back um, from that cell phone company apologizing for their error and a $300 matter just disappeared because I had some backup. So um, letters are available to you. Uh, certainly it has to be appropriate by law, but it's nice to know that you, know, you can have a law firm letterhead that carries a lot more weight than your Hello Kitty stationery would any day. You also are looking at fine print and contracts, and if you're purchasing, maybe it's a car, um, maybe it's a home, um, signing a lease agreement for an apartment, you know, what's important is that you have contracts and documents reviewed by your attorney. Let's face it, those documents were re prepared by someone else's attorney. So now uh, you can easily upload the documents into the law firm, have them review it, and give you some sound advice. They may have some recommendation for changes, but the good thing is you'll have peace of mind now when you sign a new document. I had a customer of mine, customer of mine actually go in to purchase a vehicle and she was nervous about it. I just reassured her and said, hey, listen, before you sign any agreement they push in front of you, make sure you tell them you want your attorney to review it. And she did. And what was really cool is they were able to save her $750 that they wanted to charge her for dealer's prep when she was purchasing a new car. And dealer's prep, the attorney told her, is a car wash. You do not have to pay that. So again, it's really good to have access to the attorneys to make sure that your rights and your best interests are being protected. A uh, couple notes here before I go on, pre-existing matters. So if you have signed something, a contract or a document you need review, um, perhaps you have a burning question on your mind that you need advice for. It might be immigration. It might be a family law matter. What's great is if it's appropriate by law, they could write a letter on your behalf. So that's how we cover pre-existing matters under the advice, letter writing, and document review. Will preparation, speaking of documents, is one of the most important documents to have in life. And if you don't have your estate planning current or even started, now there's no excuse. This is totally inclusive in your benefit. Our will package includes your advanced healthcare directives. It includes power of attorneys for financial as well as healthcare. And if you do have children under the age of 18, guardianship is also part of your will through Legal Shield. This is complimentary and it's about a $1,500 value. Before someone asked me about how do we cover living trust, let me answer it. You definitely have the advice and guidance to find out if that's appropriate for you. And if that instrument is, you can at least have our law firm quote, you had a minimum 25% off. It's a no obligation quote. You can shop that around, but you can definitely know that with a legal shield attorney, we can guarantee quality. The rest is really like just in case, you know, you get a traffic ticket or junior gets one. You have traffic court representation nationwide, IRS audit in case the IRS wants to look at you and your books. You have a tax attorney now in your corner to go represent you at an audit. You even have lawsuit protection. So you might be someone that might be quite vulnerable doing uh, maybe coaching uh, uh, or volunteering. Um, what's interesting is the people that do the most good, unfortunately, are the most vulnerable. Here you have your own trial defense fund. So your legal benefit really gives you law firms in the palm of your hands, and it's quite affordable. We're going to go to the next slide and show you who's covered. Thanks, Lisa. Um. It covers really everyone. So your spouse or partner, 
all your kids up to the age of 21 living at home or 23 of a full-time student. They could be off at college in another state. Children that you have um, le legal guardianship for up to the age of 18. And then special needs children have a lifetime benefit as long as they're living at home. So same price point and everyone has access to all of those services. Next slide, please. We're also gonna talk to you now about your ID Shield benefit. Number one crime in the country, it's not getting any better, it's absolutely getting worse. And now you have access to best in class identity theft protection. We go into extensive monitoring for you, anything from your email addresses, passport numbers, uh, black market website surveillance. They're gonna do surveillance to see if anybody's um, trading your information, bartering your information, selling it of course, buying it. Um, social media monitoring, and of course, all the other financial monitoring that you're used to. Legal Shield will absolutely monitor that for you, as well as give you access to our credit score tracker. But most importantly, you'll have real-time notifications on alerts. Next slide, please. Um, oh, we also have um, an ID Shield Vault. It's a password manager that helps you create secure encrypted passwords, as well as it keeps those passwords for you in a secure place. The best part of the plan is not only would you receive real-time alerts, but what happens after that? We don't leave you by yourself to try to figure it out. We give you licensed fraud investigators who will do all the work to restore it back to a pre-fraud status. So anything from the investigation documentation till it's completely resolved. Um, you have some new additional benefits um, that we've added, um, which we give you an unlimited service guarantee. So some other vendors provide you like with a $1 million service guarantee. Legal Shield, it's unlimited. We will do whatever it takes timely to fix your identity. But we back it up with a $1 million insurance policy for any damages. Of course, having access to investigators really mitigates any damages for you. So there's also 24 hour access through the app as well, because you know, imagine driving down 101 midnight and getting pulled over for a broken taillight. What's phenomenal is only Legal Shield and ID Shield, you'd be able to call your attorney or you'd be able to call your ID fraud investigator on a 24 hour basis. Unfortunately, when you're a victim of identity theft, you're usually guilty until you prove yourself innocent professionals are stealing your identity, you absolutely need to have professionals fixing it for you, and we're glad to be your partner. Let's go into the pricing on that. And by the way, who's covered under the ID Shield benefit before someone asked that? It's yourself, your spouse or partner, and all your kids, even up to the age of 26. So we've increased the age coverage there as long as they're never married. These price points that you see, are great for someone who's single or it also covers a family. So what's wonderful is we've got the best rates available to you. These rates are locked in. Um, you're looking at per paycheck $7.36 to have just the legal plan. If you want just the ID shield, you can do that $6.90 per pay period. But if you take them both, notice we give you a bundled discount even further. So it's great to have both plans. It really gives you a shield of protection around your family. And I wanted to mention member perks really helps you um, get this membership for free. Legal Shield has contracts with over 500 name brand services and retailers, Verizon, um, Direct TV. We have an average of $50 a month savings for our members. You've got gym membership discounts there, as well as some fun vacation stuff and all kinds of retailers, HP, Dell. So definitely don't forget about member perks that's available to you as a member of either plan. And it really helps you with a tremendous savings so that this membership here, the investment really is gonna be a great investment because it's a return. You get all the perk discounts plus all the great services that you can use for Legal Shield. Let me go to the Q&A. Okay, will this coverage help if I'm out of the country? Well, it depends on what you mean by that, Benito. If you mean, you're in, let's use an example, um, Greece and have a traffic ticket there. No, we don't have attorneys in Greece to provide you traffic court representation. But if you're out of the country and something happens with regards to your identity and you receive an alert, of course you can still use the service that way. So I thought I'd answer it both ways. You can kind of get an idea. Let me go to the next question. Are the attorneys based and licensed in California? Um, yes, they are. We have top-rated law firms here in California that we work with, 
And we do have fiduciaries that we work with for special needs trust lawyers, absolutely. Um, but let me answer the rest of that one question. Sorry, it moved up on me. Um, what happens if something's out of California? Well, what's great is your coverage allows you to have access to our nationwide network. So if someone had a real estate issue, for example, in another state, yet they live here in California, they just tap the app or you just dial the 800 number into the law firm in California and they will connect you to our law firm that we utilize in the other state. So you have nationwide access. Um, let's see here. What is the monthly cost? Okay, so I went over the pricing, so I think that was answered, correct? And I also answered how the living trust is covered. You get the unlimited advice, but when it's time to prepare a living trust, you would be receiving a quote at a minimum 25% off. The will package is completely complimentary. Can you stop anytime you want? Yes, this is on a month to month basis. That's how we earn your business and I hope that lets everybody relax. It's really wonderful to have uh, that guarantee. It's month to month, we wanna make sure you're very happy. Um, it is, the question I have here, is the premium post-tax? It is post-tax, yes, that is correct. And someone else had the same question. It is post-tax. Okay, I think that's it. I had a couple of other ones that are most common. Um, we talked about who's covered. So it's the same price for if you're single, no, no dependents, or if you have a family. The benefit is portable at this rate locked in. And this is a tremendous rate for you all, um, a significant savings. So you definitely wanna lock in that rate if you know you're gonna be retiring soon. What's wonderful is we automatically send you an exit letter once you're termed from employment, which will allow you to just connect with us for direct bill. How do we sign in? We're gonna talk about um, signing in to all of your voluntary benefits at the very end of this presentation. You're gonna go through the WorkTerra website, which Lisa will cover for us, so thank you. And I think that's it for questions. I uh, really appreciate the opportunity to be with you all, and I look forward to helping you in any way. You'll have my contact info also on the materials and in the benefit summary. Thanks again, bye now. Thanks, Linda. So next up is Bob McCabe with um, LifeLock. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is obviously Bob McCabe, and I'm a uh, business development specialist with LifeLock. I wanna say I, I really appreciate your time. I've en enjoyed listening to this webinar. I'm learning some things myself. Uh, you have many excellent benefit offerings to consider at San Francisco Health uh, Service Systems. And just a brief introduction, uh, again, my name's Bob. I've been with LifeLock for about six years and have the pleasure of working with many different departments within our organization. Some of my jobs, I've, I've really worked with our restoration team and member services team, so it really gave me a real-time understanding of what it takes to assist someone who's been affected by identity theft. Um, help those individuals affected by identity theft is all I need to get fired up for a day at work, so I really wanna kinda go over what we do and how we can help you uh, throughout your day, throughout your year, uh, if you are indeed affected by identity theft. So we can go to that uh, this slide there, the LifeLock three liter uh, approach and protection. Uh, det we detect an alert, we restore, and we have a million dollar protection package. So basically um, LifeLock with the, the detection part gets its data through its really a proprietary world-class identity network. Um, it gets its data th that way and our network is the same one used by like top banks, credit card companies, and wireless providers. It helps protect their networks from fraud. Uh, the company's ID Analytics, it serves over 475 enterprise customers. We never sell your data, by the way. And um, basically, to touch base on that analytics, we service two of the three top marketplace lenders, um, four of the uh, top four wireless carriers, four of the five top uh, U.S. card carriers, two of the top four automotive lenders, and then 50 million online payday loan lenders as well. Um, the other thing is we use our technology that I just spoke of to constantly monitor over a trillion data points. This really helps detect suspicious uses of your identity information to get loans, um, to get credit uh, and services in your name, which we never want to happen. Uh, alerts delivered by phone will be sent during normal business hours, by the way, so we do have an alert process. Um, all these transactions are covered by a million dollar protection package. And really what this means, it provides up to a million dollars in coverage, and that's for lawyers or experts if needed. Uh, in addition, you receive reimbursement for stolen funds and personal expense compensation. Each of those have limits up to $1 million. Um, 
want to touch on something. Um, we, we do a great job. We, we alert you and so forth, but nobody can prevent identity theft. So um, identity theft resolution is lifeblood of what we do here at LifeLock. We have a U.S.-based identity restoration specialist. They're all experts in helping resolve identity theft issues that impact our members. Um, these can consist of things from the credit card accounts, uh, fraudulent opening your name, tax refunds, uh, to bank account takeovers. We help resolve it. Many more types of identity uh, theft, with it, which I'm not going to belabor you with. Um, we have over a thousand member service and restoration agents that are able to help assist you with uh, your membership questions or issues. I like to point out that's a good thing. If you have an identity theft issue, uh, you don't want to call someplace and you know get an answering machine. Um, so that's really, I think, uh, proof in the pudding there. Knowing that someone's going to answer the phone and assist you with your problem or concern is something I can't overemphasize. If you have an identity theft issue, you don't want to wait for assistance again. You want help as, as soon as possible. Uh, if I could have you go to the next slide, please. We have a couple uh, plans. And the first is called the LifeLock Benefit Elite. These are carved out specifically for you as an employee. And the bottom line, um, if you see some of those features, I'm not gonna go over the minutia of all of them, but I wanna touch on a few. And these are uh, the ways we can alert you if indeed someone's trying to use your information uh, maliciously. We have things like if you see the address change verification, uh, identity thieves can try to divert mail, get important financial information. So we let you know of a change in your address at the US Postal Service if it's linked to your identity information. We scan court records uh, for matches of your name and date of birth to criminal activity as well. And this really helps protect you from being falsely linked to arrests and convictions. Um, so that's a great feature. Um, data breaches, we're all, I think, familiar with data breaches. The bottom line uh, with data breaches is uh, your identity is really everywhere. We have doctors, we have insurance companies, employers, uh, even our favorite retailers. So we'll let you know about large scale breaches See, we can help protect your personal information. Um, investment account activity alerts and retirement accounts, are they're often the lifeline of our financial growth. We all hopefully have them. Uh, we're gonna help protect your nest egg against fraudulent cash withdrawals and balance transfers. Um, the privacy monitor really helps reduce public exposure of your personal information. We go to you know, common public people search websites and we find that that's where your information's at. We help you opt out of those because some of those carry our personal information as well. Um, we do have priority again, 24 seven live member service. Uh, the last thing I wanted to touch on is the million dollar protection package. Just in, in a whole, this includes reimbursement, again, for stolen funds and uh, coverage for personal expenses. And each of those have limits up to $1 million and coverage for lawyers or experts if needed. Uh, for up to a million dollars to help resolve your, your case. Uh, next slide, please. So if you look uh, at this plan, um, it's called the LifeLock Ultimate Plus. If you notice in red, that kind of highlights the differences between you know, this, this plan and then the uh, Benefit Elite plan. So in short, I'm gonna kind of go over those, those in red um, differentiators here. So the credit inquiry alerts, what that would mean with this Ultimate Plus plan, if you chose that, is we monitor really key changes to your credit file at the three lending credit bureaus and alert you to help detect fraud. Checking and savings account activity alerts. What that does is it truly helps protect your finances against fraud with alerts that really notify you of cash withdrawals, uh, balance transfers, and even large pur purchases as well. Um, three bureau annual credit reports and scores. This gives you uh, online access to your credit reports and scores from the three primary uh, bureaus, Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. So it's a convenient way to see the details of your credit history over the year. Um, the other thing I want to do that checking and savings account activity alerts. What this does is it helps protect your finances against fraud and alerts uh, that notify you of the cash withdrawals, balance transfers, and large purchases. So in short, um, I just like to point out that what we really do is, is this is all about your name, social security number and date of birth. And un unfortunately, identity thieves uh, want to use that and they want to become us. And that can create uh, an immense amount of time to fix things like this. Uh, just making calls uh, being put on hold and our restoration agents can help us with that if we indeed are, um, are a victim of identity theft. I hope you never will be. Um, next slide, please. This will show our pricing. And I think that's pretty self-explanatory. <clears throat> and I had a question from, um, it was an anonymous question, but the elite program 
and I think this answers your question. The prices are right there for you. Um, in closing, I want to encourage all of you to take uh, the time and decide. Um, you know, the world we live in with all the breaches, uh, we hear about this kind of thing all the time. So at the end of the day, um, we want to help you protect your identity. And we really uh, appreciate the time that, that you've given us to at least explain a little bit. I'm not going to go over all the minutia, but at the end, of the day, it's a great service and we hope you uh, partake in this offering. Um, I did want to ask, um, let's see here. So, uh, we have another question. How is this different from identity theft protection previous presentation? It's similar. Um, at the end of the day, they kind of explain what they do. We're a separate entity, separate company. We've been doing this for about 11 years. Um, so we focus more on your identity. And I don't want to speak for the other company because, frankly, I'm not well-versed at what they do. But I can simply go over um, what we do. Hi, this is Linda. If there's no other questions, I could address that. This is Linda from ID Shield and Legal Shield. Um, it's definitely similar in that we're both trying to help protect not only your reputation and identity, your digital identity. Um, our price point's lower, especially if you're looking at the family coverage, and we do provide all in the minutia detail he provided, which is a lot of different types of monitoring areas. We do cover all of that, um, and we also have 24-hour access, which they don't. But those are just a couple of things I thought I'd mention. Thank you. All right, I don't think I have any other questions. Um, so I appreciate your time. Thank you, Bob. And, Thank you very um, much. You're welcome. So our Amy Crane with Pets Best Pet Insurance is our last presentation. Thanks, Lisa. Um, it looks like there is one more question, though, for for Bob. Oh, okay. Let's see. I believe so. It's for Legal Shield. Oh, this it's for me. Hi, everybody. This is Linda with oh, Legal. Oh, sorry. So it says for Legal Shield, are there additional fees when we have we have to pay when meeting with lawyers for services? I'm glad you asked that. No, um, the benefits that are in your benefit summary or on the slides that we just went over are all inclusive in your Legal Shield program. So there's no extra charge if an attorney has to meet, you know, one of your dependents in traffic court in another state. Um, there's no extra charge if you're going to um, talk to the attorneys and have them complete the will package for you. All those benefits are included in your program. If there's anything that goes beyond it, then certainly they would um, let you know that's going into the preferred member's discounted rate. But the benefits that were listed and that we were able to go over briefly, as well as you'll find in your summary page that Lisa will have in the library, um, is all inclusive in your program, no extra charge. Thank you. Thanks, Linda. Yeah, so like Lisa said, this is Amy from Pets Best Pet Insurance. Um, we are going to go ahead, our first slide here on the next is we're going to discuss briefly the importance of having pet health insurance. So as you all know, our pets are becoming a more integral part of our family. And really what we're here to do is help you protect your pet in the event that there's an unexpected accident or illness. So really in a nutshell, pet health insurance helps protect the bond that you have with your family. 96% of pet owners view their pets as part of the family. Um, we're seeing veterinary costs increase on a year-to-year -year basis. They are certainly not immune to inflation. And a lot of pet owners are caught off guard on how expensive those veterinary bills can be. Unfortunately, one in three pets will have an unexpected veterinary visit each year. And then if you take a look at the data that's been provided to us through the American Pet Products Association, uh, they did a full look, a full dive into 2017, and $69 billion was spent in the pet industry with $17 billion billion dollars of that being veterinary care. So again, the rising cost of veterinary care and pets becoming a more integral, more important part of our family, uh, we need a way to be able to afford those costs. Uh, a lot of times what pet parents are finding themselves in when they have a situation of not being able to afford care 
is they're having to delay treatment. They're having to seek out cheaper alternatives, which takes time, uh, or even consider relinquishing their pets for economic euthanasia because they just can't afford the care. And then on the next slide, we are going to go ahead and review why you should choose pets best. So Pets West was really founded with the mission and the goal to find a way to end economic euthanasia. We were founded back in the fall of 2005 by a veterinarian who founded pet insurance in North America, really with that mission and that goal. Uh, we offer comprehensive coverage for both the diagnosis and the treatment of both accidents and illnesses, and we even have additional optional plans for routine care coverage. So things like spay neuter, vaccination, so on and so forth. Our net promoter score, which is a score that's based on the likelihood that your customers are gonna recommend you to a family member or a friend is over 60%. You are not going to find a lot of insurance companies with that high of a net promoter score. Most insurance companies are sitting around a 20 to a 30% net promoter score. We actually have over 135 pets in force at this time, so actively insured, and we paid over $200 million in claims. We've seen an astronomical growth over the last year. Um, we can't seem to update our slides quick enough. Uh, our claim satisfaction rating is also very high, as you can see there. If you are to go out to any of the independent pet insurance review sites, you'll also see that our customer rating is very high. People are very happy with the plans and the coverage that we offer. And then, you know, in turn, when they're submitting a claim, how fast our response and our reimbursement is. There's no medical records required for you to enroll your pet at all. We offer a 5% group discount, which is deducted from your base accident and illness premium. Now, the 5% discount, the disclaimer is not on the slide, it's not really going to be applicable to any of you, but just so you do know, if you reside in Alaska, Hawaii, or Tennessee, unfortunately, that discount would not apply. On top of the 5% group discount, we also offer a 5% multiple discount, multiple pet discount. So you can get up to a 10% discount when enrolling your pets. Our claims processing time is extremely fast. We are one of the quickest pet insurance companies in the industry. We offer an average of a five-day claim uh, turnaround time. Our online customer management tool is amazing. Uh, I have a new, a new kitty cat. We named him Kevin, just adore him, but I took him in for a wellness visit last Friday for his first vet visit. I submitted the invoice to PetSpast for reimbursement on Friday through the, through the mobile app, through my customer portal, and I had the reimbursement in my bank account Tuesday morning. So again, it is as long as you're getting all the information that we need to us in a timely manner, uh, we're able to get those claims processed really quick. And then we offer free direct deposit, or we can always mail you a check for free as well. I'm ready for the next slide, Lisa. Right, so as far as enrollment goes, uh, it's super easy. You'll visit the Pets Best section on your WorkTerra enrollment site, and you'll click on the link. It's just petsbest.com forward slash CCSS. Uh, since we are recording this webinar, and just in case anybody wants to call in and enroll over the phone, all you need to do is dial 888-984-8708. Eight seven zero zero, and you can speak with one of our our licensed uh, sales agents. Just reference CCSS as your discount, your referral code. Uh, we already talked about discounts, uh, quick quoting, no medical records required, and then your pet policy and coverage will take effect approximately forty five days after you enroll. Um, so there's no open questions right now, but just as we as we see as we wait for any questions, I just want to let everybody know that you can use any licensed veterinarian you want to. So you can take your pet to any vet you want, including emergency hospitals and specialists. We have no age restrictions. 
So as long as your pet is at least seven weeks old, we can get them enrolled. There's no upper age limit. Um, and then we do provide coverage if you're traveling with your pet outside of the U.S. to Canada, of Puerto Rico, or any other U.S. territory as well. So hopefully my slides is a good job of explaining things because I don't see any questions right now. I think that's great, Amy. So thank you. And um, we'll just move on. So thank you. next up. Oh, we have a question. Hey. Actually, I don't I don't know that this would, would apply. Um, to 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 us. So that was for pet health insurance was the slides prior to here. So if you have a dog or a cat uh, that you're looking for coverage for, uh, we'd be more than happy to, to speak with you. So in regards to surgeries and routine exams, yep, well, if there's a surgery required because of an accident or an illness, surgeries would be covered. Uh, and then a routine exam, if you were to add on one of our wellness plans, uh, then, then routine exams or even, you know, elective procedures like a spay or a neuter or a teeth cleaning could be covered. Um, and then quick question on what we don't cover and what are the cost limits? So as far as what we don't cover, we do not cover pre-existing conditions. So uh, if your pet is currently hurt or sick or, um, you know, has had an ongoing or a chronic issue that, that's being treated, but it can't ever really go away, uh, that won't be covered. And we don't cover prescription food as well as any sort of experimental uh, procedure, you know, things that aren't recognized by a majority of the veterinary community. As far as the cost of limits go, um, I'm going to assume that that's asking for the limit of coverage. Our most popular option is our unlimited cap. Uh, so you can, you can choose a plan where there will not be any limits on an annual basis, or you can choose our $5,000 annual coverage limit uh, to lower the cost of the plan. But I would highly suggest go on to a free no obligation quote. Uh, you can do it completely anonymously there too. So, um, one more question for me. They're asking how many teeth cleanings per year? Uh, so the best wellness plan will cover um, up to, I believe it's $150 a year of teeth cleaning. It's not a huge benefit. Uh, if you use all the benefits in the wellness plan, you definitely get more out of it than you paid into it. Um, again, I would, I would absolutely go in and, and review a quote and, and see if that wellness plan would work for you. Where we really win is our accident and illness coverage where we pay up to 90% of what you actually paid. Okay, I think that's about all the questions for me, Lisa. It looks like there's one other question there maybe for you. Yeah, so there's um, one question that is for the San Francisco Health Service System. It's not a question that we would answer in this webinar um, about the employee assistant program. So I would just suggest that you call um, the San Francisco Health Service System, and that number is 415-554-1750. Okay, and then there is just one more question. Do you have a list of procedures and treatments that you cover at a max price? So when it comes to an accident or an illness, no. We do not pay based off a of schedule or based off of a list. Uh, as far as our, our wellness plan goes, yes, we do have a list of wellness items that we cover and what that maximum coverage is for the year. But our accident and illness coverage, most people will choose an unlimited cap and that applies to all accidents and illnesses as long as it's not a, not a, as long as it's not a pre-existing condition. All right, I just wanna thank everybody so much for their time. Thank you for attending the webinar. Uh, if you have any questions, again, please feel free to reach out to 888-984-8700 or visit the Pet Health Insurance section of the uh, library or of work care. Okay, thanks, Amy. Thank you.
So the next part is how do I enroll? So starting May, Monday, May 13th, you'll be able to log into WorkTerra, www.workterra.net. You also can call our call center for enrollment assistance and benefit information at 888-392-7597. When you visit WorkTerra.net, this is the login screen you'll see. Your username is your six-digit DSW number and add a zero in front of the DSW number if you have a five-digit number. Your initial password is going to be the first four letters of your last name and the first four digits of your social security number. The system does allow for four letters if your for less than four letters if your last name has three letters or less. And your company name, you'll type in CCSF. Once you're in the system, you'll be prompted to change your password. So for those of you that have used the system in the past and created your own password, passwords will be reset. You'll go through this process and then and then have, you know, then you'll be able to change your password once you're in the system. So the voluntary benefit enrollment dates, it starts this Monday, May 13th through May 31st. So watch for emails with enrollment information and login instructions. Contact WorkTerra Call Center for assistance with login and benefit questions and visit sfhss.org for more information. Voluntary benefits offer a range of additional insurance coverages and consumer protection services that can help relieve some of the financial pressure brought about by the unexpected for you and your loved ones, including your pets. This Monday, May 13th, your special voluntary benefits enrollment begins. Be sure to take advantage of the benefits offered to you during this open enrollment. In closing, I would like to thank all the representatives for their time and benefit expertise to bring forth a better understanding of your benefit choices. And a shout out to all of you that attended. Thank you for your time and interest in voluntary benefits. We're here to assist you make informed decisions for you and your family. Thank you and have a great day.